Hey, what's up everyone? Um, heading to Lowe's on 11.4.2, um, taking the narrow country road route that I took before and had all the issues. So, Elon specifically said that 11.4.2 would fix um, this issue that I had and Chuck had. Um, so hopefully it's actually fixed. There are some things that still aren't um, that were regressions on 11.4.1, which you'll probably see here in a second. So no slowdown for that car, but this isn't really the example that I was talking about. But this, going into the middle, car going across center in blind curve. So that that's one of the regressions that is a big deal. Um, that 11.3 on all of the versions of 11.3 were fixed. It was really awesome to not have to disengage um, in the blind curves like that. All right, um, a little jerkiness there, but it did get all the way into the lane, I think. Um, didn't hit the button in time. Um, so I, that's a little bit better than before. Um, it's actually getting into the left lane rather than uh, angling into the left lane and blocking part of the right lane. Okay, that's odd. I had to hit the accelerator to proceed. That has never happened there. When the light turned green, it put a message on the screen that said to hit the accelerator. Still stopping for that stop sign over there. That is not our stop sign. Interesting spot. I would be hesitant about passing this bicyclist um, in this blind curve. 45 miles per hour here. Um, I don't think it's going to pass him because he's uh, kind of in the middle of the lane. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, so good behavior there. I, I don't know if it would have passed him up here if he would have kept going, um, but I'm glad it did not try to pass him in that blind curve. So far, I haven't had any braking for cars coming toward me. Um, actually, if... Uh, I don't know if it was even visible on camera, but it kind of went over to the right a little bit toward the edge of the road in my lane. Nope, there we go. And there's a truck coming up behind me. Whoa. Car was apparently going off the road and there was a giant pothole. Okay, 
they turn. So don't have to worry now. I I will let it uh, stop if a car is coming. So for that one, it didn't. Um, not sure what the difference was in that situation versus the last one. Um, light braking for that one. Now this spot, um, I'm actually, there is a dip in the road where the road is sinking. The car needs to go around that if possible. So, yeah, that spot in the road has dipped quite a bit over the past few months. Um, don't want to be going through that at uh, 40 miles per hour. Hard slow down there. You saw on the screen it uh, showed a brake line. Um, so yeah, it's it's still there. It's still an issue. It's not fixed. Um, so definitely some work to do on that still. Um, seems to be better. It hasn't braked for every single car, but it's still unacceptable to almost come to a stop when a car's coming the other direction. See, right there it braked. I'm going to snapshot that. Um, and I'll bring this up. My car is actually riding on the yellow line. It's, like Chuck said, it's creating a buffer on the right, I think, where it's trying to stay away from the edge. It should not drive on the yellow line. Full stop. That was a full-on stop in the middle of the road, and it was hard. If there would have been someone behind me, that would not have been good. And why are we crossing yellow? It has a really hard time on this turn. Got to snapshot that one too. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my cameras again. Um, you can see it's leaving more space on the right than on the left. It's actually riding right on the edge of the double yellow line on this side, and there's plenty of space on the right. Um, so we're actually on the first yellow line right there. Uh, again, plenty of space on the right. It's, it's creating a buffer zone where it doesn't want to be close to that edge which it's never done before. It's done a great job on these roads um, in the past before 11.4.1. Okay, should not stop there and should not use a turn signal. It wanted to come to a full stop had a black line. I still wish that the snapshot button was a big button right here in the lower left hand corner instead of a tiny little spot up here that you have to, with the car bumping around, you have to kind of hold the screen to be able to even touch it. It'd be super nice if we had a big snapshot button right down here. Braking there for that truck um, or SUV. Um, I again, the car is riding on the yellow line. It does not want to get near that edge. Um, 
Yes, I was a little cross yellow right there. So it didn't, didn't break at all for that car. I am crossing yellow. You can see this. I'm I just went all the way across the yellow line again right there. So no braking for that one. But then my car moves over onto the yellow line again. So it looks like it's not going to turn me into this first entrance of Lowe's, which is kind of odd. It has in the past where this truck is turning. Um, looks like it's going to take me up ahead to the light. And why it just swung out into the left lane, I don't know. Um, there we go. Uh, so the behavior is not 100% uh, not 100 fixed. Uh, it's better. It's not braking for every single car, but uh, still brakes for some of them, and that is not a good thing. So I'm going to test a few more things, see if some other things have been fixed on my next drive. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.